Hello, welcome to the presentation of some new products from ETI program. Uh, today we will talk about the protection of battery systems. So, fuse links for the protection of battery and stationary battery systems. Uh, content of the presentation. Uh, we will speak about general requirements uh, about uh, over current protection of battery energy storage systems and power conver conversion equipment. Then we will say a few words about new standard IC 6269-7 and uh, we will look on uh, ETI product a range of protective devices uh, for battery storage systems. On the market exist a lot of guidelines uh, for installers. Um, so uh, this is one example from Clean Energy Council and then also uh, guide for the protection of stationary battery systems. Uh, in such uh, guides, there is a lot of useful information what, what are the proper procedures for uh, battery storage systems protection. And uh, there is some rules what overcurrent protection shell. One of most important is that overcurrent protection shall be DC rated. Then shall be non polarized. Rated voltage of this system and uh, rated current uh, should be defined under normal and fault conditions. Uh, protection, over current protection should be rated to protect battery system cabling, so connection cables <coughs> should also be protected. Uh, meet relevant product standards. Uh, I mentioned some rules in the beginning, uh, but uh, up to Two years ago, there was no proper standard for uh, over current protection. And uh, that's why over current protection should be selected from the following product groups. One is definitely higher C fuses, higher rupturing current fuses. Second one are circuit breakers, powerful circuit MCCBs. And uh, the most important is that battery system should have all current protection installed in all life co conductors. It is very important and we should not forget this. <coughs> uh, there is some information in case of uh, high rupturing current fuses selection. Usually, current limiting fuses are designed for and DC and AC voltages, but usually uh, AC ratings cannot be directly converted into DC rating. What does it mean? It means that uh, AC voltage of, of one fuse is not comparable with DC voltage of the same fuse. DC voltage is usually lower than AC voltage. Uh, regarding currents, the DC rated current is usually identical to AC current of the same fuse. So there is no uh, changes. Regarding DC braking capacity, there is always question from the customers, from the market. Uh, 
breaking DC breaking capacity is not constant value, but uh, it should be always considered in conjunction with the time constant of the circuit. So, higher is time constant, lower is the breaking capacity. Uh, there is an example from everyday practice. You can see circuit diagram of power circuit converter uh, connected with uh, uh, batteries, 30 batteries in serial, serial connection protected by fuse, correct in plus and minus, but fuse were selected uh, wrong by wrong procedure and usual consequences are could be visible here on these pictures on the on the right side fuse which is not designed correctly usually explode or has some other uh, wrong operation procedure so uh, because of uh, a lot of question from the question from the market uh, we decided to developed new standard uh, for battery protection fuses and this is standard IEC 6269-7 80 participate in the work of IEC technical committee 32 it is technical committee uh, for fuses and 32b is subcommittee uh, for low voltage fuses and uh, several several of our colleagues are involved in the development of new standards from the field of fuses so from the beginning eti were part of the procedure to make this standard to prepare this standard it takes um, maybe two years but in the end of last year in december 2021 there was presented completely new standard with the name supplementary requirements for fuse links for the protection of batteries and battery systems there is a lot of information included here um, but everything what is special to this uh, application it is described here in this part 7 but a lot of informations a lot of requirements are also included in the basic IC 269-1 which is named low voltage fuses part 1 general requirements so dimensions uh, some procedures for testing and everything is uh, described in IC 269-1 uh, in this part 7 are defined rated currents up to 5000 amps and the manufacturer obligation is to include the technical specification information about derating characteristic if the permissible fuse link is exposed to high ambient temperatures it is very usual that battery storage systems are installed in uh, ambient temperatures higher than 40 degrees so equipment which is installed there should have special uh, characteristic or should be uh, defined with information about derating this is part of uh, point uh, five three rated currents you can see that in basic part general uh, characteristic of uh, part one uh, rated currents are up to 1400 amps for battery systems there are even higher rated currents up to 5000 amps uh, power dissipation uh, of the fuse links uh, there is written that manufacturer shall indicate the power dissipation 
at 50% of the rated current and 100% of the rated current because usually battery fuse links are not loaded all the time with 100% of the rated current. And uh, as I mentioned before, the rating cur cur curve for increased ambient temperature has to be given uh, in the manufacturer catalogs. There is uh, some uh, other points uh, which are important. Those fuses should be designed up to 1500 volt DC. And what is important for the users, uh, those fuses are designed in this way that they can be replaced by other fuse links having the same characteristic, same rated current, provided by their dimensions are identical. So presented is so-called g bat characteristic with fuse non-fusing current 1.13 nominal and fusing current 1.6 nominal current. Uh, marking of fuse link uh, from this range uh, should be g bat or a bat. g bat is for general range, a bat is for limited uh, range uh, current, overloading current, and in additional combination of symbols of fuse and battery should be printed on the fuse. You can see here symbol for fuse and symbol for battery. It is also important that customers knows that something uh, is different regarding other uh, other types of fuses. There is some examples from our product range. Cylindrical uh, size 10 by 38, 14 by 51, and all sizes 1, uh, size 3L up to 1500 volts and up to 630 amps and of course uh, battery symbol or mark which is designed by ETI it is our let's say brand which is also printed on the on the uh, fuse links for battery protection so GBAT or ABAT ETI range is quite interesting. So, as I mentioned, 10 by 38, 500 volts, 10 by 38, 800 volts, uh, 14 by 51, 800 volts up to 36 amps. And then, of course, uh, we can offer fuse holder EFH 10 DC or EFH. Uh, 14 DC from the range of NH uh, we started a uh, few years ago with uh, 80 volt generation up to 250 amps in size triple zero and double zero and 1C also then regarding uh, requests from the market uh, we change uh, the voltage to 550 DC in sizes 1 to 3 up to 630 amps. Uh, later on, again, a request from the market, higher voltage, 700 volt DC up to 630 amps, again in sizes 1, 2 and 3. And uh, last year, Okay, uh, there is uh, 800 volts again last year uh, up to 400 amps in size 1 and 2. And what is the, the newest is sizes in long dimension XL, 1XL, 2XL and 3L, 1500 volts up to 630 amps. It is our range and we can offer, of course, uh, horizontal fuse switches, connector, as fuse uh, 
basis uh, for named uh, HVA and pick a fuse basis from our regular production range. It was very short from my side. Uh, any uh, additional information can be arranged. Just uh, contact me uh, on email or by phone, no problem. Please contact me and we can discuss more about fuse links and uh, of course battery protection and regarding uh, some new requests from the market.